Howdy, folks. How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and last time on the Tekkit Legends 34 55 98 challenge, uh, we, we the sun was setting, and I said we needed to sleep, and now we have. And we're going to continue our little demolition project. This this old filling thing is still going. That's still happening, so that's good to see. Uh, we're going to have to, I just realized, after this is done, either make sure that this village is very well lit, or we're going to have to put down a lot of interdiction torches, maybe in hidden places, because you can put them, you know, a block underground where they are out of sight, but are still sort of effectively uh, preventing mobs from spawning and then repelling them. So we might do that. I was trying to figure out if there was a way to make them look like they're just a part of the... Well, not set dressing, but the, the decoration of the town. Like, this is what the town is supposed to look like. I can't think of any way to do that. Uh, was that a whole bunch of poisonous potatoes, or were some of those regular... There was two stacks, but was it like a stack and then a little bit of, of poisonous potatoes? Or was it a stack and a bit of all poisonous potatoes? I'm not sure. Uh, these are coming down, too. These I, I don't like the look of these. I said we were going to build little hovels for the local townsfolk, and we still plan on doing that. But uh, they're not going to look like these. We're going we're gonna to make them look a bit more like the mayor's mansion. Sort of like the mayor had an instruction manual for what he wanted his house. Or, you know what? He tracked down the blueprints to the ancient town... And then after being elected, because again, he has an obsession with perfection, you know, is from his mom. This this part may be canon. I haven't decided yet. His mom may have driven him to to clean a lot, to entertain himself, and he might have now associated that with perfection in some way. And as part of his constant uh, journey for perfection, he had everyone's houses bulldozed to the ground and made to look like his house, but in miniature. So... I guess right next door to his house. How much space would there be between his house and the neighbor's house? We've got to determine that. And also, are there fountains out in front of his house? Because I was just thinking now, we could have fountains out here, sort of right right here in this little area. That could be cool looking. And we could build them out of the stone. Hold on, let's get some more, let's get some more stone brick. Excellent, excellent. Um, though that's mossy stone. That would work though, because they're fountains. Uh, they would be a bit mossy, wouldn't they? So we could have some mount mossy stone fountains out in front of his house. I don't think he would let a little mini house be next door to his house. Maybe this is going to be like a public park over here. And that's, yeah, that's it. The public park goes over here. So hovels uh, go on this side of the road. And I think that they would be... Uh, here's the thing. I want it to be sort of uniform. I like to imagine Mayor... Well, that was loud, wasn't it? I like to imagine... I, I don't know if y'all heard that. It sounded like a trailer hitting something outside. Uh, Mayor David Davidson would probably have all of these like very carefully spaced. Wow, that's all the dirt that I had. And very carefully like laid out. So maybe right on the... Maybe this is town square, sort of. And so nothing can be built within a certain distance from here. Probably in line with that. So I think we go to here. And then one block over is going to be where the nearest house can be. So let's grab some dirt. And we're going to do some filling. There we go. And we're going to start working on the foundation. So would they have marble floors? That's the question we have to ask. I think that they would. Just like the mayor's house, they're going to have marble floors. So do do spit right there. And so this is going to be the inside, I guess. And the marble floors are going to go in here. Are, do we want it to be that close? I think we want to be a little bit further away from the road. So we can have maybe like a line of flowers here or something. Potentially. Possibly. Well, he's got he's got bushes out in front of his house. So I don't know how that's going to work out. Oh, we have to make stables for the horses too, don't we? Uh, you're not allowed to own a horse in the town. You're not allowed to you know own your own means of travel. You have to use the the public transport in this town. The mayor doesn't want you to have that sort of liberty. So, oh gosh, I don't know how to do this. I haven't pictured this in my head yet. We're 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 flying by the seat of our pants here. Uh, a term that still makes no sense to me, even since the original series when I said that. I still... I, flying by the seat of our pants. Here we are. So the corners are going to be like that. One, two, three. And then it's going to be one, two, th six. Let's do seven wide. So it's uh, an odd number. We can put a door in the middle. And we can have the, the wooden structures out here. I keep breaking blocks with my hands because I don't trust myself to break them with a tool. Without, you know, also breaking everything else. So is three depth good enough? 
Actually, now that I'm looking at it, with the walls, we should go five. So seven by five. So these need to come back down. This might not make a lot of sense yet, and that's because I'm making it up as I go. But trust me, in my head, visually speaking, I, I, I see how this is going to go, okay? Just like Taylor Swift. So you can trust me. Do you trust Taylor Swift? If so, then you can trust me. Uh, don't date her, though, whatever you do, unless you want, like, a breakup song written about you. Depends on her mood, really. You know, sometimes her songs are going to be about butterflies and snakes exploding into into just butterfly rainbows. And then sometimes they're going to be about how someone wronged her and now they have to be destroyed via song because you're not allowed to wrong Taylor Swift. And quite honestly, I don't want either of those things. Thank you. Let's grab some planks. I don't want to be turned into a butterfly snake is all I'm saying. That's, that's all I'm trying to avoid in life. So there we go. There's the walls. And remember, the goal is to make it look like a mini mayor's mansion. Oh, man, do you think he's got, like, a dress code where everyone sort of has to dress like him? I don't think he would. I think he would enforce sort of the opposite of that. Like, you can't dress like the mayor, but everyone has to dress identically in, like, brown <laughs> brown testificate robes. Yeah, that's perfect, actually, for, uh, you know, since it's going to be full of testificates. They haven't come back yet, by the way. I remember I said I was going to rebuild their village and they were all going to come back. They haven't done that quite yet, but I'm hoping that soon... Uh, in the very near future, the testificates are going to come back to me. So we want to grab a block of concrete and have that lead up to the door. There we go. And then we're going to need some more carpenter's doors. Oh, and you know how we can light these? Oh, I just had an idea. Oh, I didn't make any carpenter's doors for transmutation. We need to fix that immediately. There. So now we can toss that in here and we can grab as many of these as we need. Something else we need is some glowstone because we're going to keep these lit using glowstone. It's going to be... It's going to be lit, son. So we'll plop that down, shift right click the glowstone into there. And that way we don't have to have torches or lamps or anything inside the houses. Grab some dirt. Bunches of stacks of dirt. Yes. Yes, it's all coming together. It's looking exactly how I envisioned it when I, you know, didn't have a plan a few minutes ago. And it was just kind of winging it. Uh, it's starting to it's starting to come together. Now, the one thing I am concerned about is the mayor's house has these. I don't know what these are called. But these sort of pitches in the roof there. I don't know how we're going to pull that off. Let's start work on the roof, and, and then we'll decide. We could probably do like one in the middle, but how dumb would that look? Also, we're going to have to get rid of this floating box up here. We're going to move it someplace else. Remember, the whole goal with these was that no matter what happens, even if we break one, there's going to be another one someplace else. So we'll put this one on the outskirts of town. Yeah, still got all my client stars in there. Still got all of my energy. So that's solid. Uh, all right, roof time. <laughs> uh, sounds like a door of the explorer. Roof time, roof time. Do 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 do. Roof. Do 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 do. Are they going to get wider as they go up too? Like the mayors? I don't know if we can pull that off because then it's going to be encroaching. I mean, it already is encroaching on the edge of where I said we could build. But then again, those are my rules and I can make and break my own rules. I can make and bacon my own rules. I was trying to think of what it's called. What is it? Steak and shake? Sh shake and steak? Shake and steak. That's definitely it because they serve shakes, right? Is that, is that what I'm th thinking of? We can shake and steak our own rules if we want to. Wow. I had intended to do a couple of tech-focused episodes where we played around with some mods, you know, to keep people engaged. And instead, what are we doing? We're building miniature houses. I think what we're going to do today is I'm going to build these miniature houses on camera, and then I'm going to build the rest of them off camera uh, so that you don't have to sit and make, watch me make the same houses again and again because I can't imagine that would be in any way entertaining. So we'll do this one, and then off camera I'll do the other ones. And the goal there is, you know, just get them done. The reason we're even showing this one is so you can sort of sit around and listen to my design philosophy as I go and maybe you know, get an understanding of why I'm making the decisions that I'm making with these and why I'm doing the wrong, using the wrong tools to break blocks constantly. That's the goal, at least. All right, let's finish the roof and then we can come back and replace these later. What I keep doing is I keep pausing to replace those blocks and sort of fix mistakes when what I should be doing is focusing on finishing the roof. So the great thing about this one is it's not going to be awkwardly too tall wide like the, the mayor's house accidentally was. It's going to be 
like have a perfect pitch point on it, which is, by the way, one of my favorite movies of all time. Anna Kendrick and Pitch Point is just fantastic, wonderful uh, lover. Pitch Point, if you haven't seen it yet, is about these kids and they sing and they're sent after, for some reason, they're sent after this band of surfers who steal money and things and they've got to stop them. And uh, at the end of it, Anna Kendrick is on the beach and she's screaming, ah! and she shoots her gun in the air like, you know, an idiot and probably bullets fall down and kill someone someplace. I don't know. But uh, yeah, pitch point. Real good film. Strongly recommend it if you haven't seen it yet. Can we do that? Does that work? Kind of. It kind of works. Yeah. Those don't go all the way to the top. They have a couple of blocks there. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we need to get rid of this because it's hideous. But otherwise, oh, they're not centered either. The, that one, it was in the right place. I was in the wrong there. Well, now I got to dissect this. I got to figure out how it's supposed to be. Okay, there we go. Get rid of that one in the middle. That looks pretty solid. It actually looks kind of weird. I can't put my finger on why, but it does look kind of weird. But we're, we're invested now. That, that's how it's going to go. Oh my gosh, you know what we could do? is we can have an episode where we go into MC Edit and just copy-paste these. Is that cheating? Can we do that? I think we can do that. I think that's okay. Because it's not as though we're cheating materials in. I have an infinite amount of materials at this point. Uh, from, you know, so that, yeah, that doesn't seem like it would be a big deal. If you're okay with that, comment down below and let me know. I think that would probably be fine. I don't think anyone would, would take Umbridge with it. Professor Umbridge with it. Plop plop so let's get this one perfect and we'll do that i mean looking at mc edit for 25 minutes oh my gosh then we can go into world painter and then we can fix the world like that it's an entire episode in third party <laughs> programs <laughs> one of those i think it's world painter it might have been mc edit i can't remember it had issue with the carpenter's blocks i remember it would like break them so we'll need to make sure we we make a world copy just in case we shrek things up real bad but uh, World Painter also had some issues. I think if you tried to update worlds using World Painter, sometimes it would cause blocks to freak out and be placed incorrectly and nonsense like that. Okay. So that's the front of the house. And the front of the house is my jam. I think it needs to have the wide roof, though. I do. I really... I think that it might encroach on space. It might make it a bit difficult to place these things. But um, I keep typing in log... I think it's going to look better. Remember, the goal is to make it look like a mini mayor's mansion. So I think doing this, let's do one side and we'll see how we like it. Yeah, that looks better, doesn't it? It, it does. I, I really like this design. I don't know why. I think the first place I ever built a house that looked like this was, uh, what series was it? it wasn't original tech yet, was it? I can't remember. I'm trying to think. I've got to remember which ones I did buildings for and which ones other people allegedly did buildings for. Like, all that building in Sevtech Ages was obviously not me. That was just part of the mod. You know, I don't want anyone to get confused about that. The, the little bumps on the top look silly. I can't help but think they look a bit silly. Should we just do one big one in the middle? I think that would look even dumber. I don't know. Shrek! Let's leave it. Let's not let's not just leave it. Let's do the exact same thing on the other side. That's how you That's how you commit. <laughs> I guess we could try something different over here. What if we did this instead? And then so I guess same thing over here. Click, click it, click, click, click. Get rid of this one here. Does that look better? That's the question we have to ask ourselves. It looks bigger. It sort of looks out of scale with what we've got over here. Although looking at these, actually, you know what might be different is if we did these two up and then we went one up instead. Uh, and then I guess that means we, we break this block and we have a piece of glass there. <sighs> Am I overanalyzing this? Is that the problem? Am I thinking too hard about this? Should I just make it the same size as on that house? There's space for it. There is space for it. What would Dave do? Mayor Dave would want it to be perfect. 
that's where we've got to draw our inspiration from is Mayor Dave. WWDD, what would Dave do? WWMD, what would Mayor Dave do? Uh, oof. Oof, that looks huge. I don't think we can get away with that. I do like the other one, though. So let's give that a shot. Now that we've gone through all the effort of doing this, let's let's try the super wide. I want to get it perfect. If we're going to be copy-pasting these all over the place, they've got to look good, you know, because we want Santa Claus to come visit us. Maybe Santa will come. Maybe actual canon Santa Claus will come visit us during during the Christmas special. And uh, maybe he'll give us a reward for rebuilding this town. And maybe he won't notice that we were the ones who destroyed it in the first place. That would be nice. Santa knows everything. He sees me when I'm sleeping. He knows when I'm awake. He likes to shout and shake me when I am fast asleep. So you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why Santa Claus is going to kill you. He's a crazy sociopath. And he's got one thing in mind. He wants to get his belt out and whip your behind. I found a problem with this design. Is that it does pop out the size of the house. Gosh. Dang it. Gosh dang it. What do I do? There's no, there's no perfecting this then. Shrek me. Now look at it. It's all falling apart. I think we were really close with the original design. What about that? Let's just do that for both of them. We could probably fit three in this in this little house. It's so small. Would that is that WWDD? Is that what David would do? So we have that one there. And then we have this one here. Oh my gosh. Get up here and break all of these. If you're flying, things break a lot more slowly, which is annoying. You would think red matter tool, right? Best of the best would sort of circumvent that somehow, but it does not. There we are. From the front, how does that look? It looks dumb! It looks too big! The house is too small! The roof! The roof is too big for how small the house is! I think that's our problem. If the whole house was one block taller, it might work a bit better. But you know what? Shrek me, this is what we're going with. This is it. This is it. This is the design... Are you kidding me? Is it going to come right out on the rails here? It is. It's coming right out on the rail. Gosh, dang it. Break it all. Break it all. I'm done. I'm just, I'm done. Let's see what it looks like without those little things. Let's just, it's probably going to be better. I guess we did see that, didn't we, though? We saw that earlier when we first built the place and we hadn't installed those yet. Should we just go with that? Or maybe just one in the middle. I keep talking about the one in the middle and how dumb that would look. But I guess, all things considered, we're, we're this far in. We might as well give it a try. Uh, just so we know. You know, just so I don't lose sleep over this at night. I'll know that I tried doing one in the middle and it either looked good or it didn't. So how big are we going to make this thing? That's too big. Or is it? No, yeah, of course it is. Well... Oops. I don't know. I don't... Let's just... You know what? Let's pretend like we don't know what we're doing. Let's just be creative for a second. Hmm. 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 Okay, and then how would that work inside? Would this all be one giant window space? Oh, wait, no. Does that need to stay there? No, that needs to go. Those need to go. There we go. Hmm. Okay. All right. You know what? No, you know, I like this. I think we, I think we might be onto something here. We might well be onto something. We're onto something good here. We're going to make it after all. Just like in that song by Reliant K. We're on to something good here. We're gonna make it after all. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm starting to feel it. There's a certain energy pulsing through my body right now. It might just be the caffeine, but I think we're really on to something good here. 
Jeez, I thought that was some kind of creature walking out. When I, when I went up and panned to the side, I thought it was something walking along the side there. I got more than a little bit nervous. Uh, so we'll have this cut across the front here. I'm glad I don't have to rebuild this house. I'm glad that we all decided. I've talked about it so much. I've got it in everyone's head that it's going to be okay when we copy paste these inside of uh, inside of MC Edit. You know, I've, I've got that idea out there. We're going to use the classic MC Edit too. I don't like the new one. I can't understand the new one. I think it's just because I've used MC Edit Classic so much that uh, you know, trying to learn something new is, is difficult. Why learn something new when you can just keep using the old thing? Which was the same thing I decided when I tried to learn how to use DaVinci Resolve uh, to do all of my editing. Is it, No, is Resolve the color editing one? Which one is it that you use for editing? DaVinci? It might be DaVinci Resolve. I can't remember. Comment down below. But uh, it might just be DaVinci. I tried using it for editing because I was like, I'm tired of being stuck in the Apple ecosystem. You know, I'm really happy with the, the new editing computer I built. That's, I mean, the the new editing Mac that I bought at a store and didn't build myself <laughs> for sure. Uh, it's super powerful. And But I was thinking, you know, how long can this go on? How long until Apple locks this down? And I have no choice but to buy a $5,000 Mac Pro. Do I want to do that? I like being able to build my own computers. Maybe I should learn a different editing program and then not be locked into Apple's ecosystem. So I downloaded the DaVinci Editor. And uh, I got to say, I like it. It performs really well. And you can lay it out to look a lot like Mac OS. And if I had to, I think I could get the hang of editing in it. But there was just a couple of little things I had issue with that I couldn't quite work out. Uh, like transitions are weird, the way that you do transitions. I can't quite wrap my head around that. I don't want to use Adobe Premiere. I don't want to use Premiere. I, I don't even want to use Photoshop at this point. I'm tired of paying for Adobe Photoshop CC every month and them constantly kind of making bad decisions and making things worse. And I don't want to be trapped in that ecosystem either. So I'm, I'm looking into Photoshop alternatives, but I definitely don't want to get into... Um, Premiere. If you add it with Premiere, by the way, how do you how do you like it? I, I'm not I'm not moving over to it, but I was just noticing there's this real. It seems to be like a meme amongst people who use Premiere about how garbage Premiere is. Like, <laughs> typical Premiere ne doesn't work. Typical Premiere problems. I'm like, why why does everyone use this application? Like, anytime I ever hear anyone say anything about Premiere, there's never a glowing praise of how good. How solid, how smooth, how functional it is. It's always just someone going, yep, Premiere sure is garbage, isn't it? Ha ha ha, Premiere, Adobe Premiere. Like, why? Why are you using it? I don't understand if it's so bad. Uh, someone told me industry standards. Like, how is it the industry standard if it's so bad? Uh, Mac OS, you know, has its faults. The Apple ecosystem being all locked up and the fact that you can't build your own computers and whatnot that run Mac OS, uh, officially you can't. I, I guess you, you technically can, but you're not supposed to. Uh, so, you know, it's not perfect, but I could never complain about Final Cut. It does work exactly as it's supposed to, and it doesn't crash or do anything weird on me. Certainly when I talk about it, when people ask me about it, I'm not like, oh yeah, Final Cut Pro, am I right? <laughs> well, no, I'm like, oh yeah, it's great, I love it. Uh, I'd caution, I, I would honestly caution against using it, if you're learning how to edit, I think I, I do personally love it. I think that it's great, but unless you're already a big fan of Mac OS and you're, you're invested in the Mac ecosystem, maybe learn something else and be a little sort of independent from that. If you can, I don't mind it because I like Mac OS. It is my preferred operating system. It's what I use on my, my personal computer. Like my Mac is my, my personal computer that I, I use. Uh, I do not windows when I, when don't have to, when don't have to yeah that's the phrase we're going to go with uh so you know i do all of my gaming on windows and my capture pcs windows and all of that but you know when i sit down to compute i'm doing it on the the imac that i've got the legitimate imac that i bought from when uh apple <laughs> i <almost> said windows <laughs> that i bought from apple uh, because I just, I prefer Mac OS, you know, and that is really a preference thing. You hear people argue all, all of the time over which one is better. And I think you probably could if you sat down and objectively you could come to a conclusion about which one is better. I don't have an opinion on which one is better because I don't care. Yeah, I don't understand this sort of juvenile obsession with determining one as being better than the other. When for me, it is all down to preference and I do just prefer to use the, the Mac OS is just a personal preference. Cool. 
I think the house is done. Wow. That timing, though. Oh, my gosh. Let's make a second floor real quick. And we'll need to make a way to get up here. Do you think ladders? I think ladders would work just fine. We'll grab some regular ladders. And maybe a trap door if we've got one. Do we have a trap door? I don't think we do. Interesting. Uh, how do you make one? We'll do this before we end the episode. It's okay if the episode's a bit long. Yeah, trap door. There we go. So we'll have a trap door here. And a couple of ladders. It should be able to... Oh. Oh. Oh, new versions of Minecraft. You don't collide with the trap door. That's, that's dumb. What, what is wrong with you old versions of Minecraft? Why can't you get these things correct? Jeez, it's almost like it takes years of trial and error to get a game to a point where it's perfect. Okay, F7 to make sure it's plenty well lit in here, and it is. Um, Why do you stand out? What happened to you? What is your story? You need to go backwards there and then we need to keep this area lit up so i say we just do a carpenter's block maybe right here and then that kind of does lighting everywhere more or less carpenter's block click and glowstone shift right click perfect It is done. And I think it looks not half bad. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Obviously, we could do some set dressing. You know, I'm just going to call it that. I'm just going to go with it. We could put down some flowers and stuff. But for the most part, that looks really solid. You know what else we could do? Is we could fill this hole out in. in <laughs> we could fill in all of these holes in MC Edit if we wanted to. Do we want to? Sort of tempted to. All right. Till next time. Thank you, folks, for watching. God bless you. I'll see you later. Bye.